Vito Acconci, born in America in 1940 in the Bronx, New York. He was known as a video installation artist. Um, he studied at the University of the Holy Cross, where he earned a BA in literature. He then studied at the University of Iowa, where he was selected for the MFA writing program, which is a Master of Fine, Master of Fine Arts. Um, his diverse practice included sculptural, architectural design, and landscape design. His uh, foundational performances, video art, uh, and video art were characterized as existential unease, exhibition and discomfort, transgression, provocation, and video art were uh, and wit and audacity, audacity, and often involved crossing boundaries such as public, private, consensual, non-consensual, and real world art world. He's influenced artists such as Laurie Anderson, Karen Finley, and Tracy uh, Tracy Emin. And uh, his, uh, primary, his primary interest was radical poetry. In 1969, he uh, created the following piece, where basically he, bas he began creating situationist-influenced performances or photographic works in the streets or for, for small audiences. Basically, he explored the human body and space uh, executed by preconceived actions or activities. Uh, for example, in 1969 again, um, he performed the following piece where basically he followed a passerby on the street until they entered private spaces. He just basically followed them until they got home and he'd walk directly behind them as you can see the picture there. A country studio, which is on the next slide, Oh no. oh no, yeah, this is a studio. Yeah, this is one of his, this is his studio in America. Um, Akonchi's studio was formed in 1988 by Akonchi and a group of architects, a uh, small group of architects, who together designed public buildings and, and uh, structures. Akonchi has been, uh, his work has been exhibited, exhibited uh, basically in a lot of places all over the world. Uh, but uh, one of the various, uh, one of the, one of the variety of venues, uh, with the Barbara, the Barbara Gladstone Gallery and the Museum of Art in New York. Yes, the Museum of Art in New York. That's one, the Museum of Modern Art in New York. He has taught at multiple institutions such as Nova Scotia College of Art, uh, designed in Halifax, the School of the Art Institution in Chicago, uh, Yale University and the Parsons School of Design. Vito's family was poor, he's of Italian descent. His father uh, sued bathrobes for a living. Um, in his early years, at around 13 or 14, he started to write poetry and short stories. And that's when he started his, uh, his art life. So, going back to Vito Acconci, if we go back to the very first slide, this is Vito Acconci here. Um, he was born in 1940 on the 24th of June in the Bronx, New York, as we've already said that, but sadly passed away at age 77 on April in 2017. In 1971, a lady by the name of Cindy Nemser, an American and historian, uh, American historian and writer, uh, also founder and, uh, founder and editor of the Feminist Art Journal, was the first art critic to write about Akonchi for his arts, for the arts magazine, as she was impressed by his work. In 1980, uh, Akonchi uh, turned to sculptural works and installation pieces. We've spoken about this, uh, but other examples of this would be um, his uh, garbage seating in 1986, for example, where he made trash, uh, where he made stuff from trash cans and soil and tree branches. Um, he was also uh, nominated for the Hugo Boss uh, Hugo Boss Prize in 2000. Vito Akonchi was interested in contemporary art. Contemporary art, what is it? Contemporary art, um, basically, well, you know, it basically means, in other words, the art of today. More broadly, it includes artwork produced during the late 20th and the early 21st century. It generally defines art produced after the modern art movement to the present day. However, modern artwork is not is not just produced during specific time, uh, that uh, specific time frame. The, the genre of art does have its, have its own approach or style and dis uh, is distinguished from others. 
yet this style of art is still very difficult to define because it includes such a variety. Um, some argue that the basic approach and the uh, goal of modern art is to challenge the nature of artwork itself. It can also make the viewer question what is, like, you know, what defines art. It makes us question what defines art. Therefore, the style um, of art is not particularly uniform and it may be more challenging to precisely describe that than any other genre, to be honest, in the, in the art world. Additionally, there are several major reasons to why contemporary art is important to society. For instance, uh, it means that it one, it's, a, it's a mean to express oneself, uh, as, it, as it is all, it's a way to provide uh, social and cultural commentary.